Hello everyone. Are you ready for day two of our Across the Waves color challenge? Today's project still uses the Coastal Cabana, Gray Granite, and Knight of Navy. I will show all of the details and a good picture on my blog at the same time. There is a link in the information section below. If you want to see what I'm going to do with these colors today, join me in the studio and I'll show you how. All right. What we're going to use today is the Irresistible Blooms Bundle. Now this is going to be going soon, so don't wait too long. I used this image and this image. I didn't do a sentiment, but we'll have to wait and see. All right. From the coordinating dies, I have the die to cut out the bloom, the die to cut out the leaves, and this die, which makes a fun element to add to your cards. I am using Coastal Cabana and Gray Granite ink this time. I have pulled in the Simply Elegant trim, the gold piece, and I've pulled in some retired gold glitter enamel dots. I don't have too many gold things, and I like these, so I'm going to use those. For my card, I have my four card bases, because I don't know which one I'm going with. Probably not white, but you never know. They're all five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a fourth. I have a piece of white that is four by five and a fourth. I think this one is. Yep, four by five and a fourth. I have, I have a scrap of the Shining Brightly DSP and a scrap of white. So let's move all of this out of the way. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp and cut my images out. And I stamped my flower in Coastal Cabana and my leaves in gray granite. From my piece of shiny brightly paper, I used that image and I cut that out. So now I have my pieces ready to go. I'm going to pull in my white piece. And then this one is a tricky one because getting it down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of see, okay, I'm kind of seeing which dots need a glue dot. So I'm just going down and I'm kind of judging. I am kind of trying to hit some of the ones that might be cut off, the ones close to it. You don't have to do all of them because you can always go back later. All right. Now I'm going to use my tweezers because I can pick this up right about there and I can flip this over and I can put it down one row at a time and see how this one's way far out. I can move it over and this one can come over. And if I need to hit the ends with some glue, I can. All right, so there's that. Now I'm gonna let that sit for a bit while I put my tweezers away and I'll make my bow. Um, this is not my favorite ribbon to use. There is a silver, uh, I don't think it's up here. I think it's downstairs waiting for a picture. There's the new silver and gold ribbon in the catalog. Let me see if I have it by chance. No, it's downstairs, so I'll use this one. And if I don't like the way this works, I'll swap it out before I take my picture. So you'll have to see which one I used. And here's my ribbon scissors. 
I'm going to give myself a little bit longer tail on this because it does have a tendency to fray. All right, I've got that cut. Now I'm going to take my yucky scissors and I'm going to cut off my ends here. All right. Okay. And I think I'm okay with everything. All right. Now, ooh, I messed that up. That's not good. Those little tiny ones are hard. And I'm thinking I'm going to put... Um, I think I'm going to go this way. Something different. All right. And I can put my bow in the middle. And now let's see, because then I have a space to add my gems. Let's see which background. I knew it wouldn't be white, but you never know. Hmm, not bad, but not the best. Hmm, too drab. I think it's going to be the blue again. Yep, it is. So now I can go ahead and put my card together. I'm going to have to work on using one of those other colors in my la for card base in my last video. All right. And let me put this here. I was planning my other card on Friday when I pulled this out and I saw this piece and this whole card was designed around this piece. All right, I'm going to put dimensionals on the back of here. And I have some here that I'm gonna try and use up. All right, and I go all the way. And this strip at the bottom is perfect for, ooh, that came off, areas that um, that are too skinny for a dimensional, but you need some support. All right, so there's that. Um, oh, I have another strip here. I'm working my way through my strips, and this one actually has one here. So I'm going to take and use a glue dot. I'm going to get this on in the middle because then I can put my flowers on. All right, and my glue dot is a lot bigger than my, um, not on my bow. So I'm just going to kind of bend it around and hold it in place. All right, now I can go ahead, take my backs off and get my flowers on. Get that one, these out of the picture because they can be distracting. All right, let's do this one. Oops, one stuck to my hand. Well, it's still stuck. Must have a little bit of glue on there. There's that one and that one and I did Face them in different directions. And I'm gonna put some glue dots, no, dimensionals on the back of this. So here I go again. And I should have enough to do these. Because there were four. And that's all I need. Now, make sure you head over to Vicki's blog and see what she created today. And you know what? Pull out your supplies and play along with us. You'd be surprised, you know, if you start looking at what you have, that you may have some of these exact colors in DSP. All 
right, I'm going to put that one there and tuck that one in just a little further. So there's that and that. And now for my gems. I love sparkly gems. I used so many of these when we had them. I loved them. Okay, this is gonna be the one. Every once in a while, I get one that's really stuck on there. And the only way to get it off is to bend the plastic back and slide your pokey tool underneath. Okay, and these actually have a, four different sizes, I think. All right, and let's put some at the bottom. I'm gonna take this one off because then I can, let's use this little tiny one down here. Okay. All right. And there's card two for this challenge. Now, if you want, you can put a sentiment in here. I typically don't use sentiments on my cards until I mail them out. That way I could make this happy birthday, hello, thinking of you, whatever I want. And again, I use those same two flowers or the same flower and leaves to decorate the inside of my card and envelope. Are you subscribed to my channel? If not, click that button below. It would be an honor for you to see my cards. I love sharing my ideas with you. Thanks for watching. Have a terrific Tuesday. Bye.